Okay, so Boolean 12. So we've already experimented a little bit in this area in that we have a 6 that opens, 6 that closes, or 6 that rises, 6 that falls. That makes it 12, okay? When you listen to most CD tracks or you watch performances with uh, professional flamencos, they rarely just hold a standard 12 where you're just marking 12, 3, 7, 8, 10, or 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. Now, if that's a familiar idea to you, that's not a bad thing. That means that you already have the, uh, the concept of, a, of what a 12 beat compas sounds like, which is not a bad thing. But that doesn't really swing if you've learned it just kind of uh, as a flat line with accents piled on top of it. Now, if you've never heard of that, then don't worry about it. That might even be not such a bad thing because if you think in bulleria, of bulleria and sixes, then you can't go wrong. If you're holding a six at all times, then you're always in the game. You can never get off. They throw in an extra six, which is called a half compas, something we'll demonstrate later. Then um, you're still in because you're just holding sixes. So you're just basically matching what, what they're doing. So what we're going to do now is let's look at a way of using an opening and closing six that sounds more like a standard 12. When I say standard, there's a, uh, a structure in place that hits 12, 3, 7, 8, 10, or 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it because it's something uh, you don't really need. All you really need to know is by ear what it sounds like. So number one, the opening six is going to be the same as we learned in the last video. If, if you want to, you can add an extra foot on the four. So if we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, then it sounds like this. Like so, okay? That's a good opening for a 12 count rhythm. That's a good first six. The second six is a tricky one. So now, if I'm going to count it for the sake of keeping it in sixes in your mind, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the second part of it. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Let's do that over and over. Let's do that very slowly so you can you can practice on it, work on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got that, you got the foot accents, you're well on your way to completing what is called what I would call a standard twelve, okay? Opening and closing six. Now with heavy on the 7-8 accent, that's why it's really a standard 12. That's what differentiates it between just being in sixes, okay? So now let's put those two things together very slowly. The opening six and what I just showed you with the 7-8 accent. Uh, so we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five. Opening and closing. Even slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Three, four, five, six, one. Two, three, four, five, six, one. Three, four, five, six. Now watch this video many times if that's a new concept for you to make sure you can get all those accents in place. Opening six, closing six. Now I'm going to show you how to count it the way you might learn it in a classroom. Okay, where they now the way they count it is funky. They start on 12 and the last week's 11 and then it all starts again on 12. Okay, so what happens is you go 
12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it keeps looping, but it always, first beat is a 12, okay? So, if I taught you how to count what I just showed you with Padmas in 12s, it would be like this. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ten is usually where you would end the compas. That's, that's called uh, the corte, where they usually end. If you're doing uh, what's called a remate, a big rhythmic close, usually it's on ten or referencing ten somehow. Okay, so I'm going to count now that same exact pattern two different ways, in sixes, in twelves, okay? Compare them. Don't get too tripped up if you can't count them well. It's actually more important that you can do them and keep the sounds... Uh, relative to one another, swinging in correct proportion to one another. Uh, and then if you're able to count, even better, it's an, an extra tool you have. Uh, but it's not necessary, okay? So, counting in six is that pattern. Two, three, four, five, six, one, Okay, now in 12. So if I'm counting the same exact pattern in 12, it sounds like this. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you end on 10. Okay? So that's a lot to chew on. Uh, if you're familiar with the 12s already, work on that swing now. If, if it helps to think of in sixes, and I, I believe that it does for everybody, uh, think of it in sixes, try counting it in sixes, and see how that starts to change the way you, whatever your flamenco discipline is, approach compas. Hopefully that will open up some uh, new doors for you, okay? We're going to continue on in the next video with some different Padmas variations now to get a little bit fancier but uh, never getting too far away from the basic compass.